If you have ever had a Kajabi form not work the way that you thought it was going to work, or you wanna make sure that you do it right from the very first time, you are in the right place for this video. If you are someone who enjoys knowing when new information is available that can help you do your Kajabi site right from the very first time, then make sure to hit subscribe. And as soon as I have a new video for you, you will find out about it. Believe it or not, avoiding potholes has been a focus of my entire life. Now, when we're talking about settings for forms, technically there are only two main controls. However, this is a perfect instance of when we push a button in one area of Kajabi and it ends up farting over in a completely different area when we are least expecting it. We are continuing to work through our site settings checklist. You can get this checklist anytime. It's in the link in the descriptions, or you can simply scan the QR code. Just press pause on the video if you need to, and you can get this checklist. Now, from your dashboard, you can just follow the little blue dot. It will keep you right in line with where I am clicking. You wanna click on settings. It's in the lower left-hand corner. And then you want to click on form settings. Now, when you click on the form settings, the very first one that you will see is the forms recaptcha. Now, this has to do with single versus double opt-in on your forms. I'm not going to get into strategy and different ways of approaching that. That will be a video in and of itself. But if you are going to use single opt-in, highly recommend that you do, you want to make sure that this is turned on. This is the first pothole that people tend to run into in that they turn on or forget to turn off double opt-in. And double opt-in, again, I'm not diving into the merits of it right now. Just know that I am an attorney by trade. I stay up to date on the laws. I use single opt-in on my forms as long as you are telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, you are fine. So when you have double opt-in turned on, what happens is people will fill out your form and the only way they can hear from you is if they went into their email, clicked, yes, I wanna get this email, and then you're able to communicate with them. So this is one of those potholes where you're cruising right along, you set up your opt-in, you're launching a new idea, a new business, a new offer, whatever the case may be, a massive guest experience that you've been looking forward to, and you accidentally don't know that double opt-in comes with some additional challenges. And just so you know where this setting will live on your forms, you have to be in marketing and then you have to go into forms and when you are making a new form or you are editing a current form, I'm gonna do it on the editing portion first. So this is an existing form on a test site if double opt-in is turned on, then when someone opts in, again, there's that intermediate step of, I have their name and email address, but until they open that email, click yes, they will never hear from me again. So I like to use single opt-in, which is why we have that turned on in the settings, which we just did. And I will show you also while we are here, again, we're not making a new form. I just want you to know where the setting is. Um, so here, uh, let's put on here, double opt-in settings. Right here, see how it's on there as the default. So if you switch it 
make sure your very next click is to click save. Otherwise, if you don't click save, you'll think you turned on single opt-in and it will not have registered that change in um, double to single and so it will still be on double opt-in. So that is the double opt-in. We're gonna come back into settings. This is how you guys can start to learn your way around. Back into forms. There we go. So this add recaptcha to single opt-in forms, this is turned on. I've already told you what I am. I'm a single opt-in girl. I would love to know, are you uh, camp single opt-in or camp double opt-in? Let me know in the comments below and you can also get an idea for where other people, just like you, what they are choosing in their own businesses. All right, the second area on the form settings are your form fields. Now, the top name field right here, never, ever, 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 ever mess with this name field. This is what Kajabi reads as the first name field on its forms, but more importantly, under its contact list. So you can see in this screenshot, someone who thought they were doing the right thing, they wanted to change, they wanted to call the field something else. And by modifying and not using this top form name field, they now have just a line of single dots for the first name. So this name field, it keeps all of your, the basic Kajabi fields. It also has all of the custom fields that you can add. We'll get to that pothole in just a second. But for this time being, please know this is a major, major, major pothole and I don't want you to fall into it. Another pothole to be aware of are custom fields. So Kajabi gives us the ability to have custom fields, to have different types of custom fields. These are great. However, there's no way to get this information out of Kajabi. So when people fill out this information, you can see on this screenshot, it lives under the contact tab under a person's individual information. I don't know about you, but that is the least helpful in terms of running a business. It, it makes no sense. I can't do anything with that information. Instead, if you're going to use custom fields, make sure you pair it with Zapier. That easy, beautiful pairing, Zapier makes you happier, will allow you to keep the data. It'll still live in Kajabi, but it will allow you to zap it outside of Kajabi and have it on a nice spreadsheet. We all know what we can do with a spreadsheet. I can sort it, I can filter it, I can use it to do all kinds of wonderful magical tricks. So if you're going to use custom name fields, and they'll all show up right here on this screen, make sure that you're pairing it with Zapier because otherwise you are, that your data is gonna get stuck in the mud and there is no getting it unstuck out of this, I'm calling it Kajabi mud, because it is, it gets stuck in your site. You cannot get it out unless you go in one by one and copy and paste and copy and paste. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't wanna do that. And I also would not want to pay someone to do that. There are many other things I would rather be hiring people to do, and this is not one of them. It is an easy, 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 easy fix. Just make sure you pair using a custom field with Zapier. Let's do a quick check in with our checklist. So we know where we were going to edit this bottom left hand corner settings. We added the recaptcha to single form opt ins. Form fields, I told you, do not mess with that name field. It's the default, it's right at the top. And anytime you make a new form, it will also be right at the top. Don't mess with that form. 
field or other ways to move around. So if you're like, oh my gosh, what should I do or how do I fix it? Just leave me a comment below and we will explore it and see what can be done. The custom fields, I told you, custom field gets paired with Zapier. You can just tuck that away in your brain if you're not using custom fields, or if you happen to hear a friend saying, oh, I'm using custom fields, you can sound like such an amazing supportive person and say, hey, did you pair that with Zapier? Because you don't wanna get stuck in the Kajabi mud. So that takes care of our checklist for the forms. Now, if you would like clear, accurate information to help you go to a closed laptop lifestyle, then check out this code. You can take a look at PBK. And what I mean by closed laptop lifestyle is, I know we're all about working where we want and laptop lifestyle and working at the beach. I prefer a closed laptop because that means my work is done. And I picked this next video just for you. And please, if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. My kids are convinced that I can surpass Mr. Beast one day. I hate to break it to them, but I don't think 100 million is in my future.